All right, there we go. All right, everyone, sorry about my uh, little brief interruption again, but, uh, well, just it got cut off again somehow. Well, at least it's nowhere near as bad as it was before, but, all right, anyways, at least it left off at the perfect time. So, yeah. Uh, welcome to my stream of consciousness, and welcome back to our ongoing whatever of Kingdom Hearts 3 for the PS4. All right. Yeah, I got myself a little bit of souvenirs from last time, and we have managed to track down all the, uh, uh, the last two hidden Mickeys got, uh, well, we already, uh, you already saw me get the last treasures. And yeah, I got a, a picture of the, uh, C, uh, CDA guy. Oh yeah, for the, uh, uh for the synthesis. Oh uh, yeah, I got, uh, yeah, I synthesized all that. And, uh, oh yeah, I managed to get every single, uh, let me see. Oh, oh yeah, every single sinister, uh, every, every single sinister material I need to get. 30 sinister, uh, 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 uh uh, sinister shards and sinister gems, sinister stones, and uh, yeah, you know what the rest there. So, uh, all right, uh, yeah, uh, I figured that since the Unversed are only going to show up in Monstropolis, as far as I could tell, I figured I might as well just go and max uh, get the stuff there now, so I didn't have to worry about it later. Anyways, Monsters Incorporated, Sora, Donald, and Goofy take a shot. Discover that Donald's magic could transform them into monsters too. And Sai, we are alarmed to find a pair of monsters with a little human girl, Boo. Uh, but one look at how happy Boo was convinced us that the monsters, Mike and Sully, must be friendly. And when the decidedly less friendly Unverse appeared in the company lobby, we volunteered to play Exterminator. Given the circumstances, we all agreed that getting Boo home safely would, uh, should be our top priority. Her house was connected to Sully and Mike's company by a special door, but our efforts to find it were cut short by sabotage. Randall, a former company banished for scheming, had returned. Uh, a former employee banished for scheming returned and was eager to stage a comeback using the energy from negative emotions. Mike, Sully, and the rest of us bow our way through out of the factory with a little help from Boo's laugh energy. Along our way back to the door vault, we face power outages, explosions, fires, and other frustrations, but Sully's quick thinking and a little heavy lifting helped us find a shortcut. Once again, we find ourselves face to face with Randall, uh, jealous of Sully and Mike's success. Uh, I, um, yeah, jealous of Sully and Mike's success, he tried to use a large unverse to get us all out of the picture. Of course, since you're reading this, you know it didn't work. Sully and Mike banished their rival for the factory again, and this time Sora used his keyblade to lock the door behind Randall for good measure. Just as Mike and Sully were about to send Boo home, the organization's Benitas appeared. He was the one who brought Randall back and furnished him with Unverse in order to gather negative emotions. Benitas revealed that Ventus, one of the missing keyblade wielders, now sleeps inside of Sora, then attempted to rejoin with Ventus by force. Again, Sully's quick thinking saved the day. With an imposing roar, he overpowered Benitas and saved Sora from, uh, from who knows what fate. With our roller coaster quest for Boo's door finally over, we said our goodbyes to our little friend as she returned to her room. Next, it was time to bid Sully and Mike farewell. We shared a few more laughs together, then said our thank yous and got back to our usual business. So yeah, uh, we uh, so yeah we got rid of Randall, Vanitas, and the Unversed are out, and yeah, out for blood. And all that's left is to, uh, oh yeah, before I forget, uh, time to head back to Twilight Town and see what Merlin's got cooking. And yeah, if I remember right, he mentioned something about a certain book, which means we're back in the time, uh, time to get back in there, maggots. Yeah, is it just me, or is the Hunger Hundred Acre Woods really uh, the Kingdom Hearts version of... Yeah, no, I said that before, and yeah, as soon as we get in there, we're going to see Pooh and all his friends and get ourselves some awesome power-ups. So, let's get cracking. Oh, yeah, and... Oh, yeah, Aqua. Oh, boy. Yeah, given what Aqua's going through right now, I think she would prefer to be stuck with the shunted meat, the uh, explosion lolly, and darkness. Oof. Let's see, soothing shard. Hmm, bolting shard. Let's see, wallspring shard. A refocuser. And last but not least... Hungry shards. Ooh, ooh. Let's see. Nothing new here. All right. So, ah, there he is. There's Berlin. All right. Tea time. 
Greetings, gentlemen. What brings you all the way out here? Uh, you called us. Besides the finest tea this side of Big Ben, of course. Uh, oh, uh, huh? aside from that. But, Merlin, I thought that you asked us to stop by. Oh, Gracious, right. uh, did I? Uh... Didn't you leave a thing? message for us with Chip and Dale? About the book? Ah, yes, the book. That's right. Oh, boy, there we go. Behold. Ah, there it is. Hey, this is... Yep. Flowers it. Oh. Did something happen? Huh, yeah, that's a problem. Well, that's what you need to find out, lad. Uh, Sora's not in the cover there, eh? That's a problem. Uh, wait, uh, guys, are you sure okay, you can doing this? Okay, I'll see you in a bit. Take care. Yes, and good luck. Um, uh, guys, should you really be doing this outside? Uh, don't you think that you should maybe go inside to the restaurant or something in the back? Just uh, and uh, no, never mind. Nobody just seems to. I guess nobody seems to notice that there's a kid that's suddenly magically flying inside of a inside of a book held by an anthropomorphic duck. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, after a while, you just stop asking questions. Fair enough. Oh yeah, speaking of, speaking of snake, not happy about it. Get over it. And yeah, here we are again, the Hundred Acre Wood. Uh, for the fourth or fifth... Oh, bother. Sink, sink, sink. Sink, sink, sink. Oh, what is it this time, Pooh? Pooh Bear! Mm -hmm. uh, you Pooh okay? Oh, hello there, Sora. <laughs> You're home. Uh, uh huh? Good to see you, Pooh. And you too, Piglet. Hello. <laughs> You're not in trouble? But I thought something odd must be going on. Ooh. Let me see. I don't remember anything oddish, but perhaps I've forgotten. Sink, uh, sink, sink. And you can't oh, even remember. We've got trouble, all right. Oh, oh hey, Rabbit. Uh, can you explain, please? Would that be the rabbit sort of trouble? What other kind is there? S -s -s Sorry. Um, please continue. <laughs> <laughs> Sora! Huh? Uh. Okay, you're new. Wow. Who's this? Oh, and there's oh. Rue. <laughs> it's okay. He's my friend. <laughs> Hi, I'm Sora. And I'm Lumpy. It's nice to meet you. <laughs> Ah. <laughs> All right, Lumpy. How you doing? Stop around, Sassafras. Stop around a little louder, why don't you? Oh, go for. I'm sorry. <laughs> I kind of like it when the ground gets bouncy. Well, I suppose if something has to bounce. Huh? <laughs> Speaking of. Oh boy. And here comes my spirit animal. Hmm? Whoa, whoa, yeah, there we whoa. are. Touchdown. <laughs> Back for some more bouncing, Sora. <laughs> Might as well. Tigger. Come on, let's go. <laughs> you too, Roo. <laughs> Yippee. <laughs> me too, me too. <laughs> I want to bounce. Oh, yes. It is time for bouncing. <laughs> oh, oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome. Oh, I remember now. Rabbit's trouble is harvest related. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, thank you for remembering my plight, Pooh. Don't want Better to. late than never. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> oh, you're Would cute. anyone else care to remember why we're here? Huh? Um, hmm. What is there like a page missing or as something? As I or? recall, we came to help you with your garden, Rabbit. After which, perhaps, you'll invite us in for a smackerel or two of honey? Or how's about no? No, that. Um, uh, no, no! I mean, we'll, we'll see about that, Pooh. Now, the garden, if you please. 
Hurry, hurry. You geez. can help too, Sora. What? Me too? Well, you are the usual troubleshooter around here, Sora, so. Let's see, Rabbit needs help picking vegetables. Go examine the correct sign to start. Oh, and Sora hey, looks a little... I think that's a lucky emblem. Oh, where? Let's see. Let's see, where's the lucky emblem? There's there's emblems around here too. Of course there'd be. Let's see. Let's see, is there a lucky emblem around here somewhere? Hmm. I know he, uh, yeah, he said it was around here somewhere, but... Oh boy. Oh, well, thankfully there's only three here at least, so... Alright, Winnie the Pooh. A friendly bear who lives inside a giant big tree, a great big tree in the Hundred Acre Wood. He loves to eat, especially if there's hun uh, honey to be had. And a piglet. Pooh's dearest friend in the Hundred Acre Wood. P a piglet's timid and startled by just about anything. Rabbit. A devoted farmer who lives in Hundred Acre Wood. Pooh frequently drops by to eat all of his honey, much to a rabbit's annoyance. And Tigger. An energetic personality who lives in the Hundred Acre Wood. He loves to bounce and has a tendency to get carried away and cause trouble for others, but he means no harm. Rue. Kanga's son. He loves Tigger, and the two spend lots of time practicing their bouncy together. Uh, Rue was the first in the Hundred Acre Wood to befriend Lumpy. And yes, the newest guy, Lumpy, uh, from Pooh's Heffalump movie. A young Heffalump who lives near the edge of the Hundred Acre Wood. After he met Rue and the two became good friends, Lumpy comes by to visit and play all the time. And Gopher. A hard worker who lives in the Hundred Acre Wood. He's an expert digger and can usually be found either burrowing a hole or falling into one. And here we are, Merlin. A great wizard able to manipulate time itself. He uses magic to furnish Kyrie and Lee with a special training ground so they wouldn't need to rush their study of the Keyblade. A Merlin's capricious nature means that he rarely stays in the same place or time for long. Right, anyways. Let's see. A mention of a, uh, a lucky emblem around here. Let's see, where, oh, where? Let's see. Uh, it's around here somewhere, I just know it. Ah, there we go. Got it. Oh, wow, that was... Uh... Okay, yeah, bravo, that was, uh... Oh, wow, that that was... That, that was a good hiding spot. Shall we help Rabbit with his garden, Sora? All right, all right, just hold on a second. Let's see. Nothing else around here that looks like a lucky emblem. Do you suppose there's any way for me to help? Oh, I would very much like to. Um, as soon as we know exactly what the problem is, we'll think of it. I want to help. All right. Tigger like gardening, not as much as Bouncing, though. Hmm. Help oh, rabbit pick vegetables and no lollygagging. I got a tight schedule. Oh, then fine. Hold on. Come on, we'll collect lots and lots of vegetables. Well, if any, well, if I can get some, then that'd be helpful. Every gardener knows the key to a bountiful harvest is proper proportions and perfect timing. Let the P P P P. Got it. Oh, what what? Let's see. Okay, there's two. Yeah. Not really sure what that was supposed to accomplish, but okay. 
Uh, what, do they want me to make a Nick Cage reference? 